Hey girls, I'm gonna quickly show you through MyFitnessPal and how it works because this is the food journal app that you girls are gonna to use to be able to track your food and your calories and macronutrients. Now hopefully you girls have read already in the book how important that the calories and the macronutrients are to getting closer towards your goals. And the better that you get at this app, the better your results are gonna be, all right? So I'm gonna quickly go through a typical day for a girl that's on, I've already set some, uh, set some calories here. So for, for, for this example, the calories are gonna be 1,544 grams. 1,544 calories. And um, I'm gonna set the, the protein as 130, the carbs is at 166, and the fats are at 40. So they're gonna be the macros, and there's the calories each day for this girl, all right? So we're gonna go into the MyFitnessPal app. It's gonna ask you to sign in. You can sign through Facebook or just through an email address. It's gonna ask you a certain amount of questions. Put it in whatever you would like. It's gonna, it's gonna give you a suggestion of the calories that they think you should be having to reach your goals. Don't worry about it. They're just gonna, it's a very generic thing. So I'm gonna be setting your calories based on all the information that you have provided me. So to be able to give, uh, put in the calories and the macronutrients that I've set you, we're gonna go into the home section, which you'll see at the bottom. No, sorry, mistake, more. It's just on the bottom right-hand corner. So tap on more. Then once we're in there, in the middle of the page, you're gonna see goals. Tap on that. Now, in the middle of the page again, you're gonna see nutrition goals, and it says calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. We're gonna click on that. All right, so what we're gonna do is the calories are gonna be at 1544. Now, once that's done, we're gonna tap on the carbohydrates, click on that, and then you're gonna see percentages. So I've already done a video of this already, but I stuffed up. So you're gonna see the exact macros that I've already set in the previous video that you girls won't see. So um, anyway, the, you can play around with the macro, with the percentages to get close as you can towards the goals that I've set you. So I've just adjusted everything and you can see the carbs, protein, and fat at the top, and it tells you the exact grams. At the bottom, you're gonna see the percentage. That must equal 100% for you girls to press the tick and move on. So manipulate that so it gets close to the macros that I've set you, all right? So once you've done, press the tick, and we can get out of that, and then we can go into the diary. So tap on your diary, and you're gonna see all the food that I entered in the last video. All right, so we're gonna say for breakfast, we've got oats here. For lunch, we're gonna have chicken breast, brown rice, and some Nando sauce. For a snack before we go to the gym, we're gonna have a packet of shapes, a small banana, and a protein bar. And then when we come home, we've got steak, we've got two potatoes, and we're gonna have an avocado, and then a little bit of salad. So that's pretty much a typical diet on those calories. So what the easiest thing to do is we're gonna tap on, we're gonna to go to breakfast, tap on add food, and from here, you'll see on the right hand side there's a barcode. So you can really, you can bar, scan the barcode of every single product. My fitness power is pretty um, universal. So tap on the barcode, comes up with the camera, hover over the barcode, and it'll automatically pick up the, um, the product that you're about to eat. So you're gonna see now the serving size, so the recommended serving size is 40 grams, which is one satchel. So that's what we're gonna have for breakfast. So I'm gonna press the tick and it has the macros of that oat, of those oats. Once we're done, we're gonna have lunch. Now, I've got this chicken breast. Now make sure, it's very, very important that you have one of these, the food scale. Um, they're gonna be so important to you for you tracking your macros. If you don't have one, go and get one this weekend. Um, I got this one for like 20 bucks from Kmart and it's awesome. And it just lives on my kitchen bench. So to weigh the chicken, I'm sure you all know how to weigh. Um, we're gonna press zero and so it's 225 grams of chicken breast. So we're gonna go into add food. We're gonna add in, we're gonna write it, chicken breast. And we're gonna write raw. We're gonna search and we're gonna top, click on the top one which has the tick. And then from there, the serving size is 100 grams, but I'm having 225. So we're gonna go to one, change the serving size to one gram, press tick, 
and then go into number of servings and then 225. The macros get adjusted automatically and we press tick, all right? So that's basically how you are adding in the food. Um, for if, for instance, I'm gonna give you an option uh, for dinner, I'm gonna give you an example that I've got the barcode of this steak here and when I go to scan it, it's actually incorrect. It's not the actual product that I'm scanning. It has something else. So just be mindful of that, that not everything that you're scanning is 100% accurate. So just keep an eye on that. If it is incorrect, you can just go back and then you can go into the search bar and type it in. So the brand of this is called Grasslands Scotch Fillet Steak. And it comes up as the first one. And for the sake of this, this, this steak is 216 grams and it says 200 is the recommended serving size. So tap on the serving size, tap on one gram, and then you can adjust the number of servings. 216. So that's basically how you do that. Once you've completed all your food, you can scroll down to the very bottom and it'll come up and say the bottom left hand corner says nutrition. You tap on that and you're going to see all these numbers. So the numbers that we're going to look for is the total and we're going to look at protein, carbs, fiber, and fat. We want to make sure that we're getting as close as possible, and I'm saying we're in about between two to five grams of each macronutrient that I set you, okay? So if you haven't, if you aren't hitting them, then I need you to adjust the food that you're having. Maybe you need to have more of something, maybe you need to have less of something, so then you can adjust the macros to hit your goals, okay? Um, a little hack that I'm gonna quickly teach you is, um, is trying to make your own meal plan for the entire week, right? So um, if you are a creature of habit and you like having um, the same foods majority of the day. So for an example, we're gonna have breakfast is gonna be the same thing, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're gonna have the same lunch as well. We're gonna have the same snacks, but that dinner will change. So what we're gonna do is, as an example, go back onto the phone. We're gonna enter in all the basic foods that we're having every single day. Now let's say we've just added the, the oats, we've added the chicken breast, and we're not gonna have the same dinner. So just as an example, I'm just gonna put it in just for time constraints of what we already have. I'm going to press edit and I'm going to select and select all. But I'm gonna deselect dinner and then I'm gonna press copy at the bottom and then I'm gonna copy it to, let's say for instance, Monday. Once we are done there, we're gonna select all and then we're gonna copy it to Tuesday. And then we're gonna copy it to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. right? And then if the dinner does change, you're gonna put in your dinner as well. And then once that, once that is done, you're gonna adjust the foods that you've already entered, so then it hits your macros. So I recommend doing this on the weekend, so that way then you've got a whole week to manipulate things, um, as well as that you can plan your food then you've got yourself a shopping list. You can then go shopping and then you can meal prep with all your food. Um, there really should be no excuse to you, for you girls hitting your macros. If you're planning this on the weekend for the week ahead, you have plenty of time to adjust your macros and add foods or take foods out so you are as close as you can to your macros. So on the weekend, I want you girls to put it all in for the week ahead. Then you, basically during, during the week, you're following a meal plan. Um, really, it's going to take you a maximum, probably like maximum half an hour. And the more that you keep doing this, it's going to take, it's going to be quicker and quicker for you girls to be able to plan for the week ahead and hit your macros. So if you girls have any questions with this type of stuff, this is a quick little rundown of how the app works. But the better that you get at this app and the more accurate you are and the more prepared that you are with the week ahead, the better your results are going to be. All right. So if you've got any questions, then you know where to find me, email me. Um, or we can speak on the Q&A videos as well. All right, I'll speak to you soon.